it's your boy Blasphemous HD, and today we are here to check out 10 scariest videos of the year. Had to work up a bit of courage to watch this mug, I'm not gonna lie. I've been ducking and dodging this, like me finishing my Let's Play on FNAF Security Breach because I'm scared. If you guys wanna watch the original video, the link's in the description down below. Let go. Top five ghosts caught on camera. Found footage. Paranormal Investigator Joe from the YouTube channel Afterlife Paranormal Investigations is joined by his friend Rob as they explore a creepy abandoned farmhouse in Brownstown, Michigan. Nope. The guys are hoping to have a paranormal encounter. No. But first, they capture a very strange encounter with an angry bee. No. There's this fly. In it. Is that a fly or a beetle? Oh, man, Keeps coming near my light. Man, I don't do bugs, man. Come on, man. Come on, man! Oh, it's a bee, dude. It's a bee. I know, dude. You can it's only like, think it one. <laughs> I can hear it, dude. It sounds pissed. As they investigate, they start to pick up some very bizarre K2 EMF readings. Dude, where did that bee go? Oh my god, dude! K2! Oh, this nigga doing meth? What's K2? It is going out of control. But then... The two investigators capture something without even knowing. Something they just can't explain. Alright, we're getting ready to check out the upstairs and see if we can even stand on these floors, but it looks sketchy. I don't see nothing. That bee What's dude is not like leaving us alone. I don't trust this. this bee keeps like trying this. to attack us. Nope. Ah! I didn't jump. I wasn't scared. I wish we had some spray to kill it. Man. What did they catch? I don't see anything. This I don't get it. Uh -huh. I don't see that. You good, dude? Oh, I see that smoke. Did you see it? What do we A see? strange mist or smoke-like apparition seems to form right in front of them. This is smoke. Oddly enough, the two investigators can't even see it. Joe later explained that he had no idea what he had just captured, and to his great regret, he just stopped recording, completely unaware of the amazing evidence that he was capturing on camera. So just what do you think this odd dark mist could be? Let me know. You can check out this full investigation over on Joe's YouTube channel, Afterlife Paranormal Investigations. A turn for the worse. Oh, that last paranormal one is... investigators Kurum and Shahid from the YouTube channel Saya Official travel to an abandoned farmhouse in Punjab, Pakistan that is said to be extremely haunted by an evil entity. The entire property is haunted, but especially one particular tree that a seems tree? to trigger aggressive. How you get haunted by an aggressive tree? Trees can be aggressive? How? It starts shucking its leaves at you like shuriken in Naruto. Supernatural activity when approached. The man says that three of his children mysteriously became very ill after they had been playing underneath the tree. Probably just syphilis. Their hands and feet became locked in a twisted, painful position, and they couldn't move them. The farm owner also became ill and suffered the exact same fate. His hands and feet became twisted in pain. Fate. The helpless, terrified family soon deserted the farmhouse and just never returned. Kuram and Shahid were called in to investigate the extreme haunting of the farm. Now, just so you know what's going on, the loud aerial noise that can be heard in this footage is explained by Kuram and Shahid to be the sounds of a Muslim religious event that is taking place in the same month they are investigating. So, when the two friends begin exploring the property, it doesn't take long before they start to experience the alleged extreme haunting for themselves. This can't be that bad. This can't be that bad. Yeah, they can't stop that? You love Hold on now. Love what the hell is that? Okay, that's not good. But it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just not good. It could be worse. Huh? Cars all dusty and stuff. There's nothing under there. Maybe they just have ants. Maybe they just have ants. And that door was looked like it was moving, but you know, it, it could still. Yeah, you know I mean, like it could not. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, let's go. Ah! 
Maybe, maybe the people next door. The window is open. This is happening across. This still is not just going to work. Go! Oh my God! 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 A car sitting on the farm's property begins to shake on its own and something heavy is thrown and Maybe squirrels were having sex inside of it. Very, very overweight squirrels. It's Shahid in the back. Oh shit! They don't know it yet, but things are just going to get worse from here. It can't get worse than this. Oh! Oh! All right, that's not good. We're gonna edit that out. That was that's not good. Why would you go towards it though? No. No. Don't you do that? Don't you move? 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 A wooden hay cart is flipped into the air and falls violently. The two investigators are shocked, but they continue to explore the area. What happens next is just. Bizarre. What? His reflection didn't move! Did you see it? Shahid looks into an old dirty mirror when he hears a sound and the two investigators turn around. But Shahid's reflection doesn't move. Oh, that's His not own good. face seems to be staring back at him as he turns no. and moves toward the unexplained no. sound. Run away. Completely Run unaware away. of what just happened, Shahid and Karam set out to find the source of the mysterious noise. Yep, y'all gonna die. It's over. It's not good. Kya aap apni apni ka ehsas dubara dila sakte? Why would you know? Why are you harming us? Kya hua, Karam? इधर से किसी ने झांका है यो अबाउट टू गेट पूप्ड ऑन इधर से शायद इधर से किसी ने झांका है ये दे इज नथिंग इन हियर इधर से कोई देख रहा था समवन वाज लुकिंग नो वाज लुकिंग टू इन्वेस्टिगेटर्स आस्क फॉर द डार्क प्रेजेंस टू अपीयर एंड दे गेट एग्जैक्टली व्हाट दे विश फॉर अ स्ट्रेंज फिगर कैन बी सीन थ्रोइंग समथिंग एट द टीम फ्रॉम द अदर साइड ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी व्हेन दे रन ओवर देयर इज नो वन देयर द क्रीपी एपरिशन हैज सिंपली डिसअपियर्ड the team decides to Shit. split up and Shahid goes into one of the good. old farm buildings and heads upstairs. He sets up a static camera and lies down on an old bed frame. It did not go well. What's that? Ah! Ah, run away! Retreat! Pimp down! Pimp in distress! Blue 42! Red! Red! The heavy bed frame suddenly flips over, throwing Shahid to the floor. The terrified investigator just gets up and makes a run for it. After this horrifying experience, the team decides they've pretty much had enough, and they decide to call it a night. Understandable. Now, real or not, the metal frame of that bed and Shahid's weight combined would have been extremely heavy and difficult to lift off the floor. Very much so. So this footage is without a doubt incredibly strange and very creepy. I'm not sure I have an explanation. Yeah, you got hit with that shit maybe too. Maybe you do. The is it real? House, or is it all just a very yep. elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch this full two-part series over on the YouTube channel Saya Official. If you see a video that you think would be perfect for email.com. Meanwhile, on TikTok. Anonymous TikTok user Haunted Wesley Manor claims that he works as a building maintenance man for a large apartment complex that was built in the late 1700s. Now, back in those days, the basement of the building contained cheap live-in apartments for hundreds of poor occupants. But now, after years of restorations and remodeling, the basement is left empty and abandoned. TikTok user Haunted Wesley Manor says that many of his co-workers and even current residents of the building have heard and seen some very strange things. 
In fact, after many residents started reporting that they heard crying, giggling, and even screaming coming from the basement, the anonymous TikTok user and building maintenance man was forced to start checking out the creepy basement for intruders on a regular basis. He records his experiences and shares them on TikTok. His curious TikTok followers believe that the spirits of restless children might actually haunt the basement, and they request that the TikTok user leave a toy in the basement. So he does, and that's when things get truly bizarre. I brought a little toy. Hopefully the ghost likes it. I think it's a child. I'm hearing a lot of stuff down here. No. The toy truck suddenly turns on as if someone or something touched it. After this creepy experience, the activity in the basement only seems to intensify. The TikToker begins to hear movements and giggling when he goes down on his daily inspections. And then, one day, he captures something downright chilling. Children, no! No! A young child can be seen peeking at the frightened TikToker from behind a wall, and then the video cuts out. So is it real, or is it all just an elaborate TikTok hoax? Yeah, that's not fake. You decide. Oh yeah, that's real. Oh God. In another video, TikTok user Maddie Bark believes that a dark entity followed her home after she went on a paranormal investigation at a cemetery. Hey, hey, wow. She says that she's seen something strange in her yard on a regular basis, and that Whatever it is, it appears to be getting closer and closer to her house. Nope. One night, she's shocked when something appears right at her front door. Haunted houses. No. YouTube user Megasquirrel64Gamer has his entire YouTube channel dedicated to gaming videos and occasional vlogs. But there's one video on his channel that's very different. In the video, the YouTuber explains that his dad got a delivery and opened the front door to receive it. Did you see it? YouTube user Megasquirrel64Gamer explains that his mom and dad were the only ones present during the recording of this video. So just who or what is sitting on the couch next to his mom? The gamer has no idea what this bizarre apparition could be, and to this day, the video remains unexplained. Hell no. But what do you think this might be? Let me know down in the comments. The in another video of an alleged haunted house, Sylvia C. from England says that she's been dealing with aggressive poltergeist activity ever since she played around with a Ouija board. Yep, don't do hey it! guys, I'm just put the camera on, there's a lot of activity tonight in the kitchen. Uh, did you get what you was looking for, bitch? Huh? He's banging that cupboard door. Did you get what you was looking for, bitch? Huh? You wanna play with the bullshit? This is what happens, bitch! I don't know what to do. Happens, Sylvia bitch. says that the house she lives in was built on top of an old British coal mine. She now fears that whatever dark spirit she unleashed during her Ouija board session might be trying to harm her. Yep. I bet you'll shut the fuck up next time, won't you? Oh shit. Yep. Huh? I bet you won't be brave next time, huh, bitch? I'm scared to get in the kitchen in case it comes. Yeah. It's me. Yep. This is what you wanted, though. You got it. Huh? Isn't this what you wanted, bitch? That plate is moving. Oh my god. God can't save you now, bitch. Yep. Oh, fuck. Just broke that plate. That's gonna be your ass once this ghost gets you to you. Oh my god, guys. This is what happens now. Your god can't save you. Spit in the kitchen. Why did you do that? Motherfucker, what? As bitch. the strange activity only seems to intensify, Sylvia starts to set up static cameras around her house. This ain't magic school. Fuck is that? Look. Oh, 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 that's not good. Well, here's what you wanted, bitch. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. No more locked doors. No, Big Leon, I'm bilingual. There's a difference. 
the kitchen no, cabinet slams shut with such force that it appears to shake the entire kitchen. Another night, and the terrifying activity starts up again. Sylvia, understandably, starts to freak out just a bit. Hi guys, the late in the kitchen. Guys, I heard things happening in the kitchen again. That oh, moving. shit. I saw that, that tin was moving. I saw that tin moving. Oh my god, that one's just moved. Yep. In the kitchen. Nah, that's what you wanted, oh, bitch! Doing things again. That's what you wanted, bitch! Uh, you know. asked for this shit by name, ho! Playing with Ouija boards, please, bitch! Please don't throw a knife. I bet you'll shut the fuck up next time! Oh, the oh my god. Just shut that door. Yep. Washing machine. Oh, spirit in the kitchen. Yep. What? Oh no, guys, let's just move that chair. Yep, there you go. Oh god, I can't take it. Oh god, oh god, I'm so scared. But nothing prepares Sylvia for what happens next. Oh shit. Cutlery's moving. I don't like this. I don't trust this shit. Bitch, you better run, bitch! Run, bitch! Run, bitch! Bitch, run! Oh my god. A sharp knife flies from the countertop and lands very near her feet. Sylvia says that she is now worried for her safety. She is currently trying to move to a new home. You can watch even more creepy videos of the terrifying activity in Sylvia's home over on her YouTube channel, Sylvia C. God damn. This next creepy video was sent in to me by a Nukes Top 5 viewer. However, the source of the mysterious footage is unknown. So the story goes that the residents of a house are being tormented by terrifying poltergeist activity. In an attempt to capture proof of the strange events, they leave a camera running overnight. What they catch on camera is absolutely terrifying. Nigga, don't show it to us. Okay, that got as bad as it could be. Huh? Flashing lights. Huh? Anybody like Kanye West? Uh, 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 flashing. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's not a little girl or nothing, so we good. It's just a moving plate or hammer. Maybe the ghost don't like Kanye West. My bad, bruh. Do you fuck with Kid Cudi? I probably don't need to ask, but... Did you see it? Objects on the table appear to be moving on their own and a light slowly bends over. But then, for just a split second, some bizarre dark shape appears to be standing at the table. The figure only appears for two frames of video and then seems to become translucent before disappearing completely. A few seconds later and the figure can be seen again, this time in the kitchen. Now I'm certainly not saying that this is 100% real paranormal footage and without the original source, we'll never know. But it's definitely very creepy. The Devil's Backbone YouTuber Luis Manuel Mote from the YouTube channel Terror Al Extremo travels to El Espinazo del Diablo, which translates to The Devil's Backbone. Don't you do it. The road is one of the most dangerous highways in Mexico. The motorway is infamous for its treacherous curves, sudden ravines, and steep climbs and drops between mountains. Undeniably, the road has seen its fair share of tragic accidents, and the highway is believed to be very haunted. Oh, I bet. Luis is joined by his friend and cameraman, Odin, as they explore several abandoned buildings on the Devil's Road. Soon after they arrive, Luis begins to explain to the audience where they are. Little do the two men know that they have already captured something very strange. Okay, pues ya estamos aquí dentro de este lugar. Vamos a ver, ¿no? Es que de verdad sí estoy sugestionado. Venimos con un poco de miedo. Pero bueno, vamos a ver qué, qué encontramos en este lugar. ¿Se presenta detrás de cámaras? Su amigo Dean, familia. Y su amigo y servidor, Luis Manuel. Su amigo Dean, familia. Y su amigo y servidor. A pale figure can be seen walking in the distance, barely visible on camera. Now it should be noted the two friends are in a remote area, far away from any cities or towns, which makes this capture even more bizarre. As they begin their exploration and walk through one of the abandoned structures, the two are spooked by something they can't explain.
Uh, oh, eso. Y fue atrás y todos nosotros también. Oh, Patearon algo, ¿no? Sí. Pero no había nada. Solamente esta lata. Wow, well, check that. No, no, look for shit. No, where did you find it? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Run away. No inventes, ya me saqué de onda, eh. Es que allá arriba no hay ni para dónde se echen a correr. Si es que hay vivos aquí. Damn that. Nope. Mira, hay una casita ahí abajo. Yo creo que ha de ser baño. No inventes, Odín. Mira, hay una casita ahí abajo. Yo creo que ha de ser baño. ¡Oh! ¡Oh! ¡Run away! No inventes, Odín. ¡Run away! Run away! You're killing us! You're killing us! Stupid! All oh, stupid! Don't you do this to us! Hey! Hey! Hey, with that shit! If there's ghosts in here, y'all, I need y'all to hide until I leave. I don't want to see nothing. Pero we no hay nada aquí. A can falls on its own, and soon after, an eerie moan can be heard just before a door slams shut. Luis and Odin begin to get the feeling that they're not alone, and someone or something is following them. Fuck Their that. suspicions are soon confirmed when they witness something with their own eyes. No. Something no. chilling. No. Is that a moose? Run away! Por eso yo de ese lado, por arriba. No sé. I don't like this. Hay algo en el árbol, ¿ya viste? Alumbra, le alumbra, sí, 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 sí. Ya lo viste, ya lo viste. Luis. ¿Sí lo agarraste? Alcancé a verlo, pero se lo por ahí. Another moan can be heard coming from somewhere out of the darkness. Then they both see a pale figure walking in the distance near the ruins of some abandoned structures. No. When they explore the area, they find nothing and no one. No. So did Luis and Odin capture the paranormal activity that people claim has been haunting the Devil's Backbone Highway? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. You can watch this full investigation and many more creepy videos over on the YouTube channel Terror Alex Tremo. How five ghosts caught on camera. Meanwhile, on TikTok. TikTok user Alicia Nguyen is alone in her Ooh. bathroom to record a TikTok video Ooh. when she captures something truly terrifying. Damn, girl. She, oh, bro, she look good. What? I don't get it. Yeah, she's attractive. I don't get it. I don't see shit. Oh, no. While Alicia switches back and forth from her reflection to herself, what looks to be the figure of a child appears behind her. Nope. And then, just as quickly, disappears. Alicia has no idea who or what the mysterious figure could have been. Nope. So is it a ghost? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. TikTok user Bailey is the operations manager of an old theater that dates all the way back to the early 1900s. 
Bailey claims that the theater is extremely haunted, with strange sightings and unexplained voices occurring on a daily basis. Counter on TikTok and the video attachment. Tammy Germathy says that paranormal activity has become a regular part of her life. Tammy believes that a dark entity has attached itself to her and follows her from home to home, no matter where she moves. Tammy is so intent on capturing evidence of the supernatural activity that she experiences on a daily basis that she set up multiple motion-activated security cameras all around her home in Mountain House, California. For the first time ever, she captures what she has witnessed firsthand throughout her life on camera. That's not good, but could be worse. That's not better. Although I even the cat looks like what the fuck. Yeah, the cat ain't trusting that shit. What? Oh my god! Okay, yeah, that's not good. That's bad. All bad. Her cameras capture extreme poltergeist activity as furniture and objects move on their own. And then, most terrifying of all, a pale figure can be seen looking out from behind a wall. And these spooky incidents are just the beginning of what Tammy captures on her cameras. On January 30th, 2020, Tammy packs up her life and moves from California to her new home in McKinney, Texas. Almost immediately after moving in, the paranormal activity starts up once again and the events only seem to get worse as Tammy, her cats, and even her dog are terrorized by the dark presence in her home. So he's literally been standing there now for about 10 minutes. Won't come when I call him, hasn't moved at all. Just keeps staring in here at me. Really kind of creeping me out. Damn. Trust that shit. That was a good throw, though. That was a good shot. Like it made it. Tammy's cats seem visible to decide. You can watch all of Tammy's paranormal experiences over on her TikTok page, The Haunted One 36, and her YouTube channel, The Haunted One. Leave and die. Ooh. Popular Japanese ghost hunters Gachan, Daichan, and Yasuke from the YouTube channel Clip Store are contacted by a viewer who tells them the story of the historic Sabukawa village in Miyazaki Prefecture, Japan. A small Japanese village was built way back in 1597 in a remote area high in the mountains. The mountain village had no roads and was a bit dangerous to travel to. So by the mid-1900s, many of the villagers began to leave the settlement. By 1989, the historic 400-year-old Sabukawa village was completely abandoned. An anonymous viewer tells the ghost hunters that a few years ago, a friend of hers went to visit the decaying and empty houses of Sabukawa village, deep in the mountains. The urban explorer told her that he was confronted by an angry old couple who seemed to be living in the abandoned village. Strangely, they told him to, quote, leave and die. Allegedly, only six months after his journey to the village in the bizarre meeting, the man passed away. Now, the viewer says that as inaccessible as the mountain village is, it seems very unlikely that an old couple would be living there all alone. So considering the odd encounter and the man's subsequent death, the viewer is convinced that the people that her friend met were actually angry, vengeful spirits. More than likely. The Clip Store team sets out to investigate whether the abandoned Sabukawa village might be haunted. When they arrive at the location, they realize just how hard it is to reach the town. They have to leave their car and continue hiking on foot. Hell After no. they finally arrive at the village, the team decides to split up no. and meet back in 30 minutes. No. They all set timers on their phones and go their separate ways to explore. In the dead of night, Clip Store host Gachan discovers the ruins of an abandoned school. What happens next is downright creepy. No. What are you oh. doing? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, 
I heard that. Somebody was running. え、うん、傾いてるしな。Sounds like the first of someone running in the building. Hashira, I shot him in the last. Eh? Eh? Huh? Eh? Miss the shot? Dare? Are you gonna reason with it? Dare mo iru wake nai kyo. You gonna talk to it? Gachan discovers that the building is on the verge of collapse, but still, from somewhere inside. He hears the sound of someone running, followed by the loud bang of something slamming or falling. Run away! Run, bitch! Gachan's timer alerts him that the 30 minutes are up, and then there's some strange loud bang from inside the creepy building that seems to agree. Gachan returns to the entrance of the village where he finds fellow investigator Yasuke. The two guys wait for their friend Daichan, but he just never shows up. The guys start to get worried and decide to go look for him. After a long search, they finally find Daichan. In what appears to be a long abandoned house. Daichan! 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 Daichan is confused and possibly dehydrated, just sitting there as if in a daze. But his camera is still recording. Fearing for Daichan's health and safety, they decide to just get out of there and make the long hike back to the car. Later, when they look back at Daichan's captured footage, they are shocked to their core. Daichan seems to have encountered something absolutely terrifying. This is the footage from Daichan's camera. Hi, so Daichan is on the top of the mountain. この家めちゃくちゃ綺麗じゃない今まで見た家より一番綺麗なんやけど誰も住んでないよねはあ結構しっかり残ってるもうなくなったわお仏壇神棚置いてる神棚スライン家がある I don't get it. What's what's going bad?
This is where the team found Dodge James Gun and picks up the camera and continues to record. Chan suddenly sees a bizarre pale face staring back at him from behind a door. In shock, he stumbles back and falls, but when he gets back up, the mysterious creepy face has disappeared. But then, as he turns around, he sees a man wearing a traditional Japanese robe, kneeling at a Buddhist altar on the other side of the abandoned home. Later, when his friends find him and Gachan walks outside, the same terrifying apparition of the man in the robe can be seen at the window just watching him as he leaves. Nick. Oh no. So did the clip store team capture real paranormal activity in the abandoned Sabukawa village? Let me know what you think. You can watch this entire two-part investigation with even more scary paranormal moments over on the Japanese YouTube channel clip store. Before we move on to the next video, if you see anything that you think Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Now if you watch Nuke stop by for very long, you know all about the YouTube channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. But for anyone new, here's a quick recap. So a man named Kent Burris says that he and his family live in a house that is extremely haunted by multiple ghosts. Over the years, Kent has posted over 100 spooky paranormal video captures to his channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine. Okay, there he is, in the window again. You gotta say something or do something. Oh my god! No! Oh. Now, in Kent's latest video series, he plans to spend 72 hours all alone inside his haunted home, as he believes this might ramp up the paranormal activity and also make the incidents easier to verify. This video is about being alone in the lamb house for 72 hours. Because when you sleep in this house and you know there's other people in this house, you know, you, you question whether something was paranormal related, but you're not sure because there's other people in the house or the cats are in the house. Now, during this 72 hours, the cat stayed out on the porch the whole time. Throughout the day and night, Kent captures multiple strange EVPs throughout his home. And some of the messages are truly disturbing. Are you in the kitchen now? Female, female disembodied voice. Some of the supernatural EVPs that Kent captures even seem to be chilling threats focused directly at him. Now as Kent is recording EVPs, he is also capturing video. When he reviews his footage later, he realizes that he captured something else in his house. Something absolutely horrifying. Now, when I was doing the captions on these EVPs, I noticed something really strange by the steps. Well, I went to brighten it up and just to check it out, just out of curiosity. Now, when I go through the door of the bedroom, I hear a strange sound behind me, and I turn the camera around really fast. Now, I didn't see anything there, but out of curiosity, when I was going over these recordings, after I saw what was captured on the stairway, 
I also brightened up, lightened up the recording from when I spun the camera around and there was another strange anomaly captured. Ken hears a noise and as he spins around he captures an unexplained shadow that seems to descend the stairs and disappear from sight. So did Kent capture evidence of the paranormal in his home? Check out his full two-part series over on his channel Ghosts of Carmel, Maine and decide for yourself. Viewer Videos Nuke's top five viewer Jordan By sent in a video that he took while on an exploration trip to Bodmin Moor in Cornwall, England. Bodmin Moor is a very remote 80 mile stretch of land that is full of eerie legends and historic abandoned properties and ruins. The area is so remote that Jordan and his friend James Wheeler had to walk three hours into the wilderness just to find it. One Damn. bit of famous folklore from this area is the gruesome tale of Charlotte Diamond, a young girl who in 1844 had her life tragically and brutally taken on Bodmin Moor. The man who took her life, Matthew Weeks, was hanged for his crime, and to this day it is said that both of their spirits roam the moorlands. So, Jordan and his friend James are taking videos of an abandoned home in the middle of nowhere in Bodmin Moor, and they capture something truly chilling. Did you see it? No. When the footage is slowed down, the face of a child can be seen looking into the window from the other side of the abandoned building. Ooh. Jordan doesn't even notice and has no idea what he's just recorded as the little face seems to just duck away from the window. The explorer claims that he and his friend James were the only ones there and he believes that the face might belong to the restless spirit of Charlotte Diamond, the girl who lost her life there so many years ago. But what do you think this could be? Let me know down in the comments. It looks sus In another me. creepy video, Nuke's top five viewer Giannis Tassis from the city of Kozani, Greece claims that he was on his way home one night when suddenly he hears a very bizarre sound. He quickly takes out his phone and begins to record. <laughs> え、Giannis explains that the small structure is the entrance to the town's water tank, and he believes that whatever he's hearing might be something echoing from inside the tank. But echoing from where? Either way, whatever the sound is remains a mystery to this day. What is that? What is that? Viewer Jesse Chapman. Did she not see that? Please always be aware of your surroundings.
But again, always check your surroundings and make sure you have some sort of protection on you. Hell yeah. It's just a kiss. Ooh. Oh, geez, I, I didn't know I was watching porn. You know what I'm saying? Ah, ah, little, a little front, little back. This is what happens whenever I put her near my daughter's old cabbage patch talk. But that's not the weirdest part. There's no batteries. But wait, there's more. Ah! I even cut the wire to see if that would stop it. Is she causing this? Oh my god. Oh, I can't watch this. I can't do this. Oh. I don't know why I would do this. No! No, 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 no! Nah, bro. Come on, bro. No. Hey. No, 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 no. 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 Uh, uh, ooh, 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 fucking with this beat hole. Put me on this shit, bitch, give me weak though. I don't trust the bullshit, bitch. Give me that money, bitch, that shit lit. I don't give a shit, only been a trick. She treating, oh my god! Went away, damn that, we bleeding. I ain't trust none of this shit. Head down the path, bitch, don't chase me, hoe on my ass. I don't trust that shit, this shit passing, bitch. I'm blasting in this shit. I swear on God I'm lit, don't play these games with me, you trick. Oh shit, bitch, you stealing. Bullshit, hold on, check up. Still with all shit, we get next up. <laughs> what type of shit is that? How you gonna try to steal? Stealing! No, no stealing. Swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. Absolute, absolutely no swiping. Doors just sitting what there is open that? only. What is oh, what? Someone oh. is dying tonight and it ain't me. Yeah, can you not? Mm -mm -mm. Can you not get in there? What the? <laughs> humanoid creatures caught on camera. In this creepy video, the man taking the video appears to be searching for his friend in a dark warehouse of some sort. As he is looking, he is surprised when he sees an inhuman face staring at him from behind some objects. <laughs> there you, there you, assy ho! There you, assy bitch! The face hey. turns to look at him. The being has a grayish white complexion and red eyes. Ah oh, damn you assy ho! <laughs> how you doing bitch? Hey, how you doing man? What the fuck? Time to move. <gasps> fuck me. What oh the my god. What the hell are we doing? What the, what, what is this? What are we doing bro? Quit playing. Quit playing. What? No. <gasps> Oh my god, it's a shithole in there. No. No. Well, no. You gotta get out of there. Time to move. Oh my god. Time to move, baby. How huh? look how we moving on up. Yeah. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Oh no. It's a Nevada Pigeon Kitchen side dish, baby. <laughs> Man, delicious. Oh, that's delicious. <laughs> delicious, nigga. 
What the hell? What is going on? What are we doing, man? What the? F really? Really? Wow! So we got the ghost of pettiness. The ghost of Christmas Jello. petty. Let's get Jello. Stranger offers oh, Jello, friend. Take the goddamn Jello. No Jello, Jello, nigga. You don't want it? Take it. Take it. Take it, Daily. Take the Jello. Take, take the Jello. Take the goddamn. Hey, bitch, this ain't no Bill Cosby pudding pop commercial, nigga. Offer me no Jello pudding hoe. He ain't even got nothing to spread it on. Come on now, bros. Don't we no dry ass Jello, man? All I know is the color better be blue. That's the only way I'm eating Jello. Mm. Photos taken moments before disaster. Oh no. Moments later, man on the left did something despicable. Ooh. Homie was grimy, get him. Oh, Watch no. this. Did it. Teacher and Hunt. what? <laughs> For 130 abandoned flats, there is something in the window. Yo. Are you gonna go closer? Oh yeah, you deserve that. Both the guys' activity. Who's in there? Who is it? Close your butt cheeks. Oh, what are we doing? Oh, what are we doing? Oh! Yep, no joke about that. Well, there's no jokes to be made on that one. What is the light appearing in the sky? Yeah, it could be flight number 748 coming in uh, for an emergency. Yeah, that doesn't look good. Two different clips captured by different people. Arriba, arriba, epa, epa. I don't know what any of that means. I've been watching a lot of Speedy Gonzalez cartoons lately on Looney Tunes. Don't you judge me. I know it's racist, but it's funny racist, it, which makes it different. Is that a vagina? Alien pussy! Oh my god, it looks so wet though. Tell me that, look how small it's getting. That's good, that's good when it does that by itself. And look how wet it is. You can't tell me that that's not where the happiness is at. That's cause that's where I'm trying to go to. I hear him. Hey, shut, shut up, ho! What the fuck hey, how you doing, noise, huh? bro? Yeah, sing that. What is that? Yeah. Noise? Ooh, 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 Where ooh. Where are you? You asking some real stupid questions, bro. You wanted to show you where it's at? Think about it. The more you know. <laughs> Don't ask questions. Don't ask some type of questions, bro. This is crazy. Don't I don't ever ask some type of questions, bro. I heard it. I hear it. You know it's man, you know it's not a good look, bro. Why you wanna know? Why are you asking questions? No, I don't wanna know. Oh my god. I don't wanna know. No. Don't wanna That's know. Crazy. Don't wanna know. No. I don't wanna know. Shit! Don't show me nothing! Nah. Disturbing facts that will ruin your day, part 26. In 2014, one neighbor in Arizona was terrorized for several months by a group of chihuahuas that reportedly scared people on the streets, pooed everywhere, and wreaked chaos. Motherfucker chihuahuas? Word? This man was asking his girlfriend to marry him with an underwater letter but tragically, he drowned shortly after. Ha ha! The Tom runs is pretty realistic if compared with a real cat. Ha ha! Oh God. Scary videos found on the internet. Damn, she bad. Ooh. Ooh. Show you, show you pussy, bitch. Show you pussy, hoe. Never mind. Never mind.
Nope. Absolutely not. Nope. Looks like the condom's on the other dick now. Where are you, Mary? Who's Mary? Mary Jane. I'm in love Mary. with Mary Jane. Did you say it? What? Mary. She's my main thing. She make me feel alright. She make my heart sing. What the fuck is that? Oh, there's nothing. And when I'm feeling low. Ooh. What's that? What was Mary. that? Hey, you still in there, Mary? Mary who? You can come out now. The hell she can't. Hey, you better not show yourself. My name is Thomas. No, it's not. Hello. No sé de quién sea. Paranormal activity is terrifying. Por eso quería grabar. Por eso quería grabar, mi gente. Ustedes están viendo todo. Por qué? I don't know any Spanish. No, hey. ¿Quién está aquí? No mames, están levantando los vasos y la puerta. Por qué? Por favor, por favor. Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino. Hágase su voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día. Perdona nuestras ofensas. ¡No! ¡No mames, güey! ¡Vete a la verga! ¡No mames! ¡No mames, Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo! ¡Santificado sea tu nombre! ¡Venga a nosotros tu reino! ¡Hágase su voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo! ¡Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día! ¡Y perdona nuestras ofensas! ¡No, no, no, no! ¡No! ¡Perdona nuestras ofensas como tal! ¡No mames! ¿Por qué no, 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 no. still en la casa? Yeah, that look hella creepy. Ooh. Who is pulling her leg? Yeah, free. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Do that. Do that. Yeah, girl. Woo. Spread it. Spread it all. Oh. Spread that shit. Yeah. Body been on that like white on Michael Jackson. <laughs> This doesn't look good. Incredible paranormal activity. There's nothing incredible about this shit. Oh, nope. Guys, Something in the group. Woman I'm exploring so abandoned house. I'm really scared. This is what you get. You deserve this. <gasps> Why what? are you exploring abandoned growls? <gasps> Did you guys see that? What? Hello. <laughs> Police officer hears witch crying out and catches this. On the force, you you learn to um to trust your gut, to trust yourself, uh, and I was jeopardizing my my safety. Yeah, damn that, damn all that. That that does not look good. I don't like that. So why are you still there? That could be- August 30th, 2021. A hurricane has just made its way through Louisiana and things are beginning to calm down. A 76 year old man named Timothy and his wife go outside in order to check things out, but as soon as they open up the door, a 12 foot alligator has just snatched this woman's husband right off their front porch and drags him off into the night. She immediately dials 911 to get some help, but they would simply put out a missing persons report for this man to see if he would show back up, which obviously he did not. Over the course of the following month, more reports would come in about this humongous alligator that was just wandering around this neighborhood. It was at this point three men came out in order to dispose of the alligator, and when they did, unfortunately, they would. Did I see it? This dildo? Motherfucker, what? Nigga. Strangest things caught on CTVV. Was this nigga Thor? Huh? Was that nigga Nightcrawler? Magneto from X Men? Billy's room. Eh, I'd smash. I'd bone. Ooh, I'd have to use three condoms and a bunch of lube. 
I hope I just hope it's a female. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, there you go. I don't know what the hell you talking about. Run, bitch! Come on, Edna! Bend the yaki, bitch! Bend the yaki! Man, that's a nigga in the bed sheet, bro. I ain't fuck, man. Come on, bro. I can't Nigga in the bed. Oh, that's not normal. Man, that TV remote. TV remote. You know what? Whatever. We'll get her after. Oh my god. Let's get out of here. That was not a good start to this video. Damn it. Nothing. Tell sees ghost in mirror. I can see that. A little bit. I can see that. Definitely looks like a ghost. That's not good. That's not a person, is it? Okay, this looks like a setup. This doesn't look like an actual ghost video. Please don't be a real ghost. I know I may be a pansy, but you ain't about to scare me with no ashy white person popping out from up under the sheets. Oh, music. I didn't get scared. I just got protected. Okay, that's not okay. <laughs> See, look, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I swear to God, I just shit my pants, bro. I didn't jump, though, so I don't have to do the push-ups, but oh, my God, my heart did. Oh, my God, my heart. This is abuse. Damn. Don't let this be. Let's let this be. Come on now, don't do this. Ho! 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 You got a pig, baby? Oh, 
Oh, this looks like a jump scare. Don't be a jump scare. Don't be a jump scare. You gotta get out of that. Ghost about to throw the whole baby. You better run, ho. Run, bitch. Run, dummy. Why are you still there? There's no reason to stay there! Bro, you're gonna start throwing bricks. Yeah, what else could he possibly break? Shit, I didn't get scared, I just... Oh, that's not okay. That's not funny. I don't like that. I don't like that shit at all. Who's that? What's going on? It threw a cone on the floor. Oh, 
Oh, that look rough. What's wrong? That's creepy. Skinwalker caught in sewer. The first skinwalker ever captured. Knocking, bro. Somebody kicking that shit. Kick that shit, then, ho. Crazy, yo, bitch. Crazy, ho. We're not going at them. Don't open. I wouldn't open that shit. Is that a 1700 dildo? Is that a dildo from 1700s? You better get out of there, bro. What are you doing? You working backwards right now, bro. <gasps> yeah, that's kind of creepy. One day the girls got tired. Oh my god! Really? Jeez! He really got. He really threw little homie. He was found crunched up, frozen in a woman's septic tank looking straight up through the toilet. Friday, February 24th, 1989, a 26-year-old sales manager had just finished having a conversation with his father. He would then explain that he needed to run a few errands, grab his keys, drive off, and never return. During the first few days, the community would remain fairly optimistic that eventually he would just pop back up healthy and unharmed with some sort of rational explanation as to why he was gone for so long. But 
just a few days later, this mystery would reach a devastating conclusion. Tuesday, February 28th, a woman discovers a shoe halfway in between her squatted toilet and the septic tank in a pipe. She would then walk back outside, remove the plate for the septic tank, and discover that there is a man in the fetal position crunched up into this tiny septic tank looking straight up through her toilet. This young man's name was Nayuki Zagano, and he was the person reported missing by his father on the 24th. The fire department was called, and it was fairly apparent when they got there that Naoki was deceased. However, they had such a difficult time getting him out of here, they actually had to rip up a section of the pipe, cut it, and also remove part of the septic tank and the toilet just to get, so they had to destroy the whole thing. Homie was down up in that crevice trying to stare directly up into her anus. Either that, or he's the world's greatest participant in hide and go seek. Definitely one of them. To get him out. If that's not weird, it's about to get a lot weirder. So the pipe that leads into the septic tank where they clean it out was 14 inches wide. That is the only way that he could have even possibly gotten in there. Although it is said that many individuals the same size as Naoki tried to accomplish this and recreate it by getting into a similar area and they could not do it. The few that actually did make it to where their feet were down there could not bend the rest of the way to get into a fetal position and get their way out of that position. They would have had to have gone straight back up. So it begs the question how did he get all the way down in there get into a fetal position get his head back underneath this ridiculous angle he would have had to have been an expert level contortionist to make this happen secondly he was found to be clutching his shirt on his chest which was neatly folded inside the septic tank with him he was also found to be wearing no shoes although one was found in between the toilet and the septic tank the other one was found the opposite direction of where his car was found so he would have had to have gone the opposite way of this lady's house lost his shoe came back with one and gotten into the septic tank next there were only a few small scratches found on his body nothing traumatic that would have indicated loss of life due to an injury. More so, the cause of death was listed as hypothermia and it was deemed to be accidental, which outraged many of the individuals in this community because they just simply could not see this man in this light, even though- Yep, that's some shit. drops down to her knees and begins acting absolutely insane. In August of 1993, a series of horrifying and mysterious events would take place in the Kabardaban mountain range involving seven individuals in which only one would survive. The story she told is absolutely horrifying and it goes like this. The first two days of this trip were reported to be somewhat miserable as they ran into a lot of rain and wind and snow and the conditions were just not ideal, but they managed to keep their spirits up and keep moving forward. Now, the beginning of the third day started off just like any of the others. They woke up, it was still raining, they ate breakfast, packed up their gear and began pushing forward once again. But within just a few short hours, things would take an absolutely terrifying turn. They are making their way down this trail when all of a sudden a young man by the name of Sasha in the very back of the group begins to scream out in absolute agony. The entire group turns around expecting to see him getting attacked by some sort of creature, but he has fallen to the ground, he is convulsing, and now foam is coming out of his mouth. At this point, the story turns into what can only be described as complete and utter chaos. The closest individual to Sasha would run over in order to render aid, but as soon as they knelt down over him, they too would collapse. And if the situation's not bad enough, it's about to get a whole lot worse. Next, a woman by the name of Lutmila Korovina, the group guide. She's gonna cut it. Okay. Hey. Hey.
that a pair of feet? Tunnel Vision This next video was sent in to popular Japanese ghost hunting team Clip Store by a man who claims that the footage was recorded by his now deceased older brother. The man says that his brother was a big fan of the paranormal and often spent his free time exploring well-known ghost spots in Japan. So one day his brother decides to film an allegedly haunted tunnel somewhere in Fukuoka Prefecture, Japan. He has an encounter that is absolutely terrifying. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 Don't, no, don't do this. No! Quit playing! Bruh, come on, bro. Man, it ain't even got to be all this, bro. Hey, look. Bro, what we doing, bro? Let's just hit the IHOP up the street, bro. We ain't even got to be all this shit, bro. Man, come on, bro. Man, I don't do this. I don't do none of this. Ma! Ah! Run away! Don't look back! Did you see it? After the man hears a creepy, unexplained voice coming from right behind him, he quickly spins around to see an ominous dark figure standing right in front of him. No. A shadowy shape that had not been there only seconds before. Nope. Absolutely terrified, the man makes a run for it. But the story gets even weirder. Nope. Because a few weeks later, the man who recorded this video passed away in a freak accident. What? This horrifying video was found on the man's phone. It was the last video that he recorded before his death. Yo! So the Clip Store team tracks down the location, but they don't really find anything unusual during their investigation. Are you gonna go? So could it be that the man accidentally recorded real paranormal phenomena? And could this have somehow led to him losing his life in such a tragic way? Let me know. No. Mm. no. The Viaduct Tavern. Paranormal investigators Jeff, Phil, and Mark from the YouTube channel Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations recently investigated the notoriously haunted Viaduct Tavern in London. The Viaduct has been around for hundreds of years and was built just a few yards away from the site of the infamous Old Newgate Prison, where thousands of criminals were executed. The tavern's third floor was once a brothel where a lady of the night named Kate tragically lost her life. What she will? She sucking dick? such a long and dark history, it's no wonder that over the years, landlords, workers, and even visitors have witnessed terrifying paranormal activity. Nevertheless, the tavern has become a very popular local historical pub. The Ghost Tech team sets up several static cameras and begin their investigation on the third floor, where most of the supernatural activity has been witnessed. It doesn't take long before the three investigators start to hear very strange nope. sounds coming from the floor right above their heads. Nope, I'm not doing it. Don't you do this. What are we doing? Oh, what are we doing? Nope. Hello? I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I can hear you. No, you can't. Don't you lie to us. Hey, can you freestyle? I can hear you walking. Can you freestyle? There was a few footsteps on the floor above us. Do you have a sister who who is As in complete I stand inagreeable? on the stairs to the full floor, I hear footsteps above me on the floorboards. Here is the audio taken from Static Cam 5, which is located up on the full floor. No. 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 I don't do this. No. No. The creepy sound of someone walking can be heard on the fourth floor of the Viaduct Tavern. The Ghost Tech team believes that they might be making contact with the spirit of Kate, the lady of the night that tragically passed away there long ago. Jeff, Phil, and Mark head up to the fourth floor to do a spirit box session. Yeah, what happens next is downright creepy. Sucking dick for money. If I knew your full name, I could look in the newspapers, 
the old newspapers and find out what happened to the person that did that terrible thing to you. That's all I need ah! is your surname. So if I hold ah! this out... No! Guys. No, no, no! Yeah. No, yeah. no! No! Can we not? Can't call? nobody hit the lights? Something's in that room. Mom! I'm not it going in that room. just past the window and Nick. I've got it on film. I ain't got to go into that room, bro. I ain't going in that room, bro! Across that window. No! Kate. While asking questions, Jeff captures the dark figure quickly moving in front of a window, not once, but twice. No. Jeff immediately alerts the team of what he's captured. No. But they can't find any explanation for the bizarre encounter. And that isn't the only time the team captures something unexplainable that night. Back on the third floor, the three investigators begin to hear strange disembodied voices. And then this happens. There you go. That's what I was hearing. Shh. Kate, tell me your name, your full name. Do you still suck dick? Even though you're dead now. Can you still suck dick? We can find out. Find out what happened to you. And whether the person that did it was caught and punished. She was given a back blow and it went horribly wrong. Tragically even. Tragically grimy get him. Ah, mom! No, mom! Hey there! There was someone stood by me. Okay. There was someone stood by by me. We gonna edit that out. I'm sitting here with double nunchucks and still scared. <laughs> Y'all need to think I'm tough. I don't, I don't do all this, bro. That is the clearest thing I've ever seen in my life. Okay, okay do this. calm down. Oh, Mark dude, literally this. jumps out of his skin as he sees oh. someone standing right next to him. Absolutely but not. When they look. There's no one there. Oh, you think? However, when the ghost team reviews their recorded footage later, they realize that Mark actually did capture what he saw on camera. No. Now it can I only be see seen it. for a split second when slowing down the footage. But as Mark spins around, the unexplained face of someone can be seen standing right next to him. No. So could this be the ghost of Kate, the lady of the night who tragically lost her life inside the tavern? Or could it be the spirits of prisoners who were executed where the tavern now stands? You decide. You can watch this entire investigation over on the YouTube channel, Ghost Tech Paranormal Investigations. Almost hit myself in the balls, bitch. Encanto. Ghost Hunter Idol from the YouTube channel Ghost23 sets out to explore a remote waterfall in the middle of nowhere and surrounded by tall mountains. Idol has been told that the waterfall is haunted by an environmental spirit known as an Encanto. What the hell is an environment? A mythical being that has the ability to appear in human form. No. Idol is completely alone as he makes the difficult climb up the waterfall with nothing but a camera. The sun is setting fast no. and with very little daylight left, Idol captures something truly chilling. No. No. What happened? I don't see it. Oh hell no! Wow. 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 I see that. Nigga. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Nigga, look at that. Hey! Dude, are you selling back blows? Oh no. Nope. Nope. Nope! Run away! Where the hell did it go? Hello? 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 A 
mysterious figure appears to be watching Idol as he's exploring and recording footage of the waterfall. The person then just walks away, disappearing into thin air. Now, there is nowhere for this figure to have disappeared to, as there is a steep drop below and a tall, unclimbable cliff above. Idol is baffled and confused by what he just saw and can't find anywhere that the mysterious being could have went. It's almost as if it walked right into the waterfalls surrounding the mountain. So could this be the Encanto that is said to appear at the waterfall? Or something else? Tell me what you think. A cry for help. Hell no. This next video is a bit of a mystery, as it was reposted to TikTok without a source or information. The video shows CCTV footage of a young girl as she walks around her home. What happens next is like something from a nightmare. No, don't show us! We don't want to see it! Oh, okay. Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. No. Run, babies, run! Oh! Lights suddenly begin to flicker, startling the young girl as she rushes for the door. But the door won't open. As she slams on the doorway, crying out for help, an ominous dark shape can be seen slowly moving towards her. One dark edge reaching out, almost like an arm ready to grab her. Run, bitch! That's when someone, presumably her brother, comes to her rescue and opens the door for her to escape. Now, without a source, we'll probably never know what happened here. So, I ask you, is it real? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Off hey, a rough ride. That's hell no. Tiktok user Jose Castillo and his friends often mountain hell bike after no. work on some wooded trails near the city of Oaxaca, Mexico. Absolutely not. One evening after dark, Jose and his friends go out on a trail that they've taken many times before. But this time, things take a terrifying turn. Jose's GoPro camera is recording when something happens that still gives him chills to this day. Did you see it? Someone or something appears out of nowhere and Jose barely manages to swerve around it. When slowed down and paused, the figure appears to be cloaked, wearing a veil that's translucent enough that you can see what looks like a face. Ah! A very unwanted guest. In this next creepy video, two police officers are alerted by an Airbnb homeowner who suspects someone has broken into her house. How's it going? What, what seems to be the problem? I, I left for a while to go shopping and when I came home, the door is open. I think somebody broke in. The homeowner says the house should be empty but is worried that an intruder might be inside. The two officers make their way into the house as their body cameras record the entire incident. Police, if anyone's here, make yourself known. Oh, uh, shoot him. Shoot first, ask questions later, baby. One of the officers is checking out the downstairs bedroom, and this is when things start to get weird. Yeah, I don't like this. No. Hello? Don't, no be, no, no need to be alarmed. We're Negroes. Huh? We just, we just come to borrow some A1 steak sauce and some, and some, uh, and some really rough BBC pornography. We're really quite, we're, ah! No. Tropical blocker, self-defense, code 6483. Anyone inside? Shoot, shoot six times. <laughs> ah, that's what I, I, don't, you don't want me. You don't, we, we, you don't want me to be the police, you know what I'm saying? 
You know I'm shooting. A loud bang can be heard, and at the same time, strange interference comes through the radio. The officer now heads upstairs, yeah, and his body baby. cam starts to experience strange video glitches. I'm shooting, What ho. happens next is downright chilling. Man, I don't like this. I don't do this. Oh, hell no. Camera having seizures and shit. Police. Anyone inside, make yourself known. Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Nope, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing this shit. Nope. Absolutely not. Y'all on your own on this one. Man, I miss Family Guy. What am I doing? I need to be watching Family Guy right now. I'm playing myself. Please don't. Please nothing be in the closet. Don't jump out. Please. I've got kids. I already got a low sperm count. You're going to make my penis useless. Oh, no, the door going to close. No. Shoot. Spray and pray. Don't you go in there. Hey, don't you do this. Don't do this to me. I am watching this. I don't deserve this. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Oh, no, it's worse than I thought. All of them, they don't even have any quilts. No, there better not be nothing in here. Door don't close. Okay, we good. We good. Downstairs, clears. We good. Oh! What was that? What happened? What are we about to shoot? Why are we scared? Why did I piss myself? These are the questions. What's going on? What's going on? I don't like this. I don't do this. I don't do this. Officer's clear. A little yeah, bit. We're, yeah, we're good. Now, understandably, this police officer is done with this house. Two doors open on their own without explanation, and when the officer is about to go downstairs, the loud sound of charging footsteps or stomping can be heard right behind him. He swings around, but again, no one there. I'd start shooting. This footage was later released as the officer claimed to have experienced paranormal activity while inside the house. So just what do you think is going on here? Is this Airbnb haunted? Yes. Let me know down yes. in the comments. There is no question An odd about this. Intruder. Another A woman in Jamaica steps outside to retrieve something from her car, but she doesn't know that an absolutely chilling event is about to occur. Exits her house and walks towards her car. We can see some strange translucent shape charge out of the woods near her house and run right inside the front door. Kill it! Now, whatever this is does not seem to be any kind of compression oh. glitch. The woman in the video is perfectly clear, and also the figure approaches the light and still remains an odd, indistinguishable mist. But is it supernatural? And if not, just what? Is this? Oh, damn that! As always, I leave it up to you to decide. Jerry. To myself. After three years of living a happy, peaceful life in their apartment in the United Arab Emirates, nope. Zark, his wife, and son suddenly begin to experience terrifying, unexplained activity. No. 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 We ain't order no Domino's pizza. Hey. It better be Ed McMahon with a whole lot of money. It better be a bad bitch offering a real wet blowjob out this hole. What the? F Is somebody chopping down a tree, my nigga? What's popping? Yo, you just gonna do it right in front of me? What's popping? What we doing, ho? Hey, Ed. Is this on beat from next door? You made some more than bean pies, bitch? Hey, how you doing, ho? 
Oh, throw that in the circle. <laughs> Better not be nothing in there. Okay, we good. Uh, nothing but wrapping paper and purses. <laughs> Could you please drop? Mother Besides hearing knocking, banging, and scratching, the family has a truly bizarre scare when one day they inexplicably find maggots all over their apartment. What you screaming for, bitch? It's just bugs, ho! Even he's calling her a bitch. <laughs> Man, you making us Zark explains that he's a skeptic, but that he's become increasingly more alarmed by his son's unusual behavior. The young boy claims he sees someone named, quote, Jerry, and that Jerry isn't always friendly. Zark and his wife don't believe the boy at first, but when one day he complains about Jerry again, they decide to check their CCTV camera and are shocked by what they find. Oh, hell no. What was that? Mommy, Jerry chocolate me. Jerry, what? Needless to say, Zark and his wife now believe ah! that Jerry might be something real after all. Oh! And whatever this presence is, it seems to become increasingly more aggressive. No. Jerry, don't! Oh, this is a stealing. Oh, he's stealing. Not the snack cabinet, my nigga. You know I only go to 7-Eleven twice a day, bro. I ain't got time to... Oh, shit. Oh, he's breaking the paper cups. Oh, Jerry, grind me, get him. My nigga, violent, violent. My nigga breaking the, all the silverware and shit. Oh, this nigga done. Bro, someone get over there. This nigga done opened up the jelly. What? Are those Gogurt? Yeah. Tell me that's Capri Suns and Gogurt. Objects around the house are moved and thrown but nothing compares to what happens on another night while the family is fast asleep in bed. No. Zark is suddenly woken up by the unexplained sound of running water. No. Hey, who? Who playing with the toilet? Who playing in the toilet water again? What time is it? It's like three o'clock in the morning, bro. Every it's time. It's early today. I don't remember this scooter being near the door before I slept. Yo, what's popping, yo? What's popping, bro? What the fuck? Yo, did my nigga flood the kitchen? This nigga left the water running? I hear more water flowing. What's he trying to do? Take a bird bath? You taking pigeon showers in my damn cup? In my kitchen sink, Jerry? Feels extremely cold. Right, I gotta get some of that. Get some of this air conditioning heat on my balls. That's how we do in the hood, baby. Hey, Jerry, you mind playing these games, ho? You ain't paying no rent up in this bitch. Turn on the light. Okay, okay. <laughs> Fight him. You gotta fight him. Hey, I'll fight a ghost, nigga. I'll fight a ghost, Jerry. Don't play with me. Alright? Don't play off of me, this bitch. Huh? 
Zark hears the sound of running water and discovers that both the faucet in the kitchen and the bathroom have mysteriously turned on by themselves. Zark then hears loud banging and the sound of someone running. He then captures a strange small smoke-like figure moving right in front of him. Zark is freaked out by what he has just experienced, so he checks his CCTV footage to see if anything else was captured that night. When he rewinds his footage back to just before the running water woke him, he is shocked by what his CCTV captured. Alright, this is a wild accident before it happened. Ghost walks along with Scooter. While Scooter goes near bedroom, Ghost goes in kitchen. Oh hell no. Bro. Can't no ghost be inside my house unless they paying rent. I need that rent money, bitch. Give me that rent money, ho. Oh, that scooter is self. Oh, that, that scooter is self-propelling. Is that what that is? Oh, scooter's moving by itself. Oh, that's awesome. Dude. See, I need a remote control scooter too. Something that moves. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh my god. What's this nigga making ramen? A tall moves? translucent figure can be seen walking right beside a scooter that seems to move across the floor. Zark is now convinced that his apartment is haunted by something that he can't explain. Could this presence be what his son calls Jerry? Let me know what you think. You can follow Zark's continuing paranormal story over on the YouTube channel, Zark Scary Haunting. Coming up in this video. Oh, hell no. Hey, can, you can, we are. Can you point to where you passed away? Wow. After watching thousands of videos, some may easily slip your mind, but these 30 scary videos aren't easy to forget. Number 30. Statue Moving Yet another miracle caught on camera, shared by YouTube channel Alpha Bravo Company. This scary video shows a statue of Jesus bowing his head. Watch closely. That's not a robot? Y'all sure that, that's not a, a mechanical robot? You sure that's the not a robot? The statue's head falls. That's a, a regular statue. While many in the comments are willing to accept this as a miracle, there are others that think this might be engineered. YouTuber USB 3.0 suggests that there's an actuator connected to the head and I see their point that this could be automated. Which side are you on? Do you think this is a genuine miracle? Or are the individuals who made this statue trying to trick us? Uh... Number 29, Creepy Follower. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Lucky1196, this redditor aptly titled the submission, Creepy Follower. Recorded on August 10th, 2022 at 2.09 a.m., let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. Hey! What's up? What you running from? Oh! Oh! Oh, I'll give you that. Ooh. With 71 votes, 96% of which were upvotes, it seems like the subreddit was mostly convinced with this footage. The woman's reaction certainly seems like she is genuinely terrified upon seeing this figure, and the apparition does appear quite human looking at the end. I wish we had another angle of this apparition caught on camera, then I would be 100% convinced. But for now, even though I am slightly skeptical regarding the legitimacy of this footage, there is no doubt it is scary. Hey! I'll give you that. This looks scary. I wouldn't trust it. Damn! Number 28. Haunted Chapel. While investigating this remote 500 year old chapel, YouTuber Nighthawks Paranormal found that the rumors were true. This holy place is haunted. As they're sat in the pews, they feel like they're being watched. 
all along this movie. And honestly, I feel like we're being watched by some people just sat in these chairs. That makes sense. Yeah, it feels like there's all the like, eyes are on you. While investigating the chapel using the Estes method, Dan is told to leave, and then this happens. Leave. Shortly after, he jumps as though something touched him. <sighs> this chapel certainly gives me an eerie feeling of foreboding. There's a presence here, and you can feel it. Considering its long history, I'd be surprised if there weren't spirits here. I can't Number feel 27, shit. pranked by a ghost. YouTuber Truth Paranormal collects haunted stuff, although he describes himself as a skeptic. Stupid! This is dumb! What are you doing? You're asking to be haunted! But then again, this happens. Watch his shorts. It looks like something pulled the leg down, and he felt it. Let's see it again. The YouTuber's shorts definitely moved, and he wasn't the one to move them. Yeah. Is one of his many haunted objects exhibiting paranormal activity? I am convinced that is the case. I'm not sure how else to explain this. Number 26, Sewing Woman. This is a story about a woman who loved her job so much that she continued to clock in after her passing. YouTuber Fourth Wall shares this video of the mysterious sewing woman. Watch the machine on the right. Yeah. This was Miss Tanaka's sewing machine. <laughs> this isn't the only mysterious activity going on in the factory. Oh my god. Hell no. Nope. No. Mm-mm. 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 In do another this. room, things are thrown off shelves, and workers report that objects are often moved from their spots. Oh, hell no. Is Miss Tanaka still at work? I think there's plenty of evidence to suggest so, but as to why she's continued, I'm not sure. Perhaps even ghosts can be workaholics. Be sure to check out Fourth Wall's channel. All their videos have English subtitles. Number 25, Witchy Woman. What would you think if you saw this clip? <laughs> Demonic possession? Superpowers? Is this girl a witch? What's happening here is none of the above. Things are getting atomic up in this classroom. Posted by TikToker Zula5439. This individual is touching something called an electrostatic machine. <laughs> The hair raises because it becomes electrified with charges of the same polarity, which repel each other. She is instructed to throw the electrons. Her hair is supposed to go down when she does so, as it loses static, but the instructor says she didn't throw them right. While well, this experiment is completely normal in a science classroom, without context, one might think this video is supernatural. Either way, it's not easy to forget. <laughs> Number 24, Ghost in Nature. 
While out alone in nature, you don't want to hear this. YouTuber Mark Billman shared this footage, which he insists is not a joke. Listen closely. Did you hear it? I did! Oh! Billman says no one was around, and he didn't hear it at the time. He caught it only when he played the footage back at home. What do you think? All I want to know is, what's going to happen in a while? Number no. 23. Powerful Poltergeist YouTubers Laney and Ben have been dealing with their home's poltergeist for years. This is one of their most aggressive captures yet. It happens in the home's hotspot, the kitchen. Let's watch. No, no. Oh! Punch it in the face! Punch it in the face! The poltergeist seems to be getting more powerful. Its energy bursts, synchronizing movements of everything at once. This leaves me wondering why the poltergeist is gaining energy. Is it angry? Or does it like attention? I'm not sure we'll ever know the answer, but I do know he's leaving lots of chores behind. Number 22, Ghost in the Old Manor. Dennis from Dark Life investigates this dark manor, said to exhibit strong paranormal activity at night, and his investigation goes off the rails. As his camera captures pictures, the spirit warns that it's here. It then tells Dennis that it's following him. He is told to go to the basement, and so he does. Are you gonna listen? Don't do it! As he enters the room, he hears running. Run, bitch! Later, he hears a noise. He is not alone down here. As he continues to search but finds nothing, the spirits continue to make noise. He believes that they are hinting at something. But it's Hell not clear no. what. Dennis believes the spirits pointed him to the stove for a reason, though. And I agree. The old estate is ripe for further investigation. Number 21. Haunted House. This is a legit haunted house, all done up like one. And YouTuber Hunting the Dead is taking a spin around it. When Jody opens up communication with the spirits here, they give a response. I have Lindsay and Susie here with me. Uh, is there any that would like to communicate with us tonight? Whoa. Did uh -huh. you just hear that? Okay, a little spike is going on. After entering this terrifying doll room, the door shuts behind them. Welcome to Sadie's room. Now, the new doll room. Because all I find are freaking dolls everywhere I go. <sighs> that door just closed. It did. Upon confirming that they're speaking to the spirit Stephanie, they get a reading on their K2 and dousing rods. Are you standing here? Can you show me where you died? Can you point to where you passed away? Oh my God. Wow. Later, they ask the spirit to turn the light off and on, and it obliges. It's asking it forever to turn the light off. It finally turned the light off. Turn the light off. Can you turn it back on? <gasps> Thank you. 
It plays with the lights again. Get back off. Whoa. What the heck? It's almost like the battery just completely just drained. The home's doorbell goes off, but there's no one there. There is nobody here, and somebody pushed my doorbell, bro. Something pushed my doorbell, and there's yeah, nobody here. Looks All like right, you gotta so move. As they're describing a noise they heard, they hear another one. A noise while we were sitting in the hell door. What the f is that? It sounds like someone was knocking at the door, but again, there's no one there. While it could just be the creepy atmosphere of this place, I get the sense that something isn't quite right here. But whether it's Stephanie, the spirit's doing, or some prankster in the home, I'm uncertain. Number 20, Swamp Creature. You never know what's swimming around the Florida swamps. Redditor Something Unique 141 shares this photograph of a scary creature they've captured in the Everglades. That looked like a dude. That's not a creature, that looked like a person. A homeless person. The Redditor notes that this could be pareidolia, but it sure doesn't look congruent with the rest of the environment. The Redditor says they saw it while taking the photo and they felt like they were being watched. Thankfully, we don't have to keep guessing what it is. In the comments, the Redditor shares an update. When he visited the same spot the next weekend, this is what he found. It's a stacked pile of timber. I'm glad to have an answer, but I'd kind of prefer that the mystery remained. Number 19. Who's there? Redditor Grouchy Time 875 lives alone. So what is the sound? The Redditor is completely freaked out, since they're the only one home. I am living alone. Why is there a scratch at the door? I am not checking it. Of course, we only have their word to back up the claim, and they won't go check it out. So I can't say for sure if there's some logical explanation. To me, it sounds like the laundry's going. But if Grouchy is being honest, then they should probably put on some armor. Number 18. Ottawa Jail Hostel. Would you ever stay overnight at a former hospital? YouTuber GHOST did, and they captured some paranormal activity on camera. Watch the window on the right. <laughs> it opens and closes not once, but twice. To me, this isn't foolproof paranormal activity. It could just be a window left ajar, coupled with a draft coming in. It is rather coincidental that this happened at 3 a.m., however, which, as everyone knows, is the witching hour. Is this a witchy coincidence or something else altogether? Number 17. Copycat. YouTuber Paranormal Mai meets his doppelganger in the middle of the forest, but the being's intentions remain unclear. At first, while he's standing in the darkness, he senses something there. Then his copy comes out of the woodwork. He's been watching him from behind some trees. What the? F <laughs> and he seems dangerous. What the hell? You ain't gonna run? What do you think is going on here? Is this the man's evil opposite? And why is he stalking him? 
I think this is a production, but I'm definitely intrigued and plan to tune into the next episode, number 16, Paranormal Activity. YouTuber HD Adam shares this intensely haunting video. Although we aren't given the context of this home, I assume Adam is investigating paranormal activity here. I assume this because it soon unfolds. Oh no! No. Evet, savurabilirsin. Hayır, savurmayabilirsin. In another room, the door slams. <gülüyor> and in another, a drawer opens and closes, followed by something more extreme. In the bedroom, a Bogart is living in the wardrobe. Later that night, a shadow figure can be seen hovering outside it. Was oh. this causing the wardrobe to tremble? And all the other activity in the house, I think it might be the culprit. And if this paranormal team continues to probe its space, the shadow figure will likely grow more aggressive. Number 15, The Ring. Has The Ring come for us all? Shared by Redditor KLORSPIE. This strange video has me running for the hills. Let's watch. Eat. It completely floats and drifts above. Many in the comments are saying it's a smoke ring, but the way it disperses seems incredibly strange to me. I agree with the Redditor that there's something mysterious about it. I think it could definitely be a smoke ring, but its behavior is unusual. What do you think it is? Number 14. Close the door. This short clip shared by YouTuber Amatov Paranormal Tech YT shows the shadowy figure seemingly shutting the door. Watch the door on the right. Another angle shows a strange shadow falling before the door is shoved closed. Oh, shit. And here it is from another angle. There is definitely a shadow there, but whether it's being cast by something or not is anyone's guess. I think it's more likely that a shadow person has entered the room. Number 13, Fairy Tale Mansion. This mansion may be a fairy tale, but it's also a nightmare. YouTuber Motley's Paranormal World explores this mansion that's said to be haunted by multiple spirits. They request a sign of the spirit's presence, and they get one. If you're here with us, feel free to follow us. Later, as they're descending the stairs, a strange shadow flies across the screen from the right to the left. As they enter this room, a creepy whisper is captured on camera. So cold. I'm not sure if they hear it in the moment, but it's there. I think the tales are true. Multiple spirits haunt this place. This fairy tale mansion may have been beautiful in its day, but now it's a nightmare, and not one that's easy to forget. Number 12, Abandoned School. Joe and Chris are exploring an abandoned school with YouTube channel Sees Crazy Crossroads, and it's definitely haunted. Before they even head in, something creepy happens as they're recording their intro. This is that school. We couldn't get inside. I don't, and we're not gonna. Dude. They then hear talking and spot a mysterious light. Were you in the, on the front side of this building? I, I swear I saw a light inside this building here. 
Okay, all right, that's what I... Listen closely and you'll hear several strange noises and screams in the woods. And we heard it coming from this way, like... Isn't that cool, dude? As they continue, they hear another scream that's undeniable. Dude, where did that come from? Bro. <laughs> and again, this time Chris sees something. Do you see that? Yes. yes. Damn bro. that! A different kind of sound scares them away. <gasps> okay, let's go this way. We're brave, but we ain't crazy. They hear another noise and what sounds like a shot. A couple hundred yards away. Roll out! Get out! One last bang drives them away for good. Although I didn't see anything too spooky here, these bumps in the night are often even scarier in my opinion, because whatever is making them remains a mystery. Number 11, Night Cam Ghost. YouTuber David Gladden has been paid another visit from his resident ghost. A night cam captured this creepy video. Watch the hallway door. What was that? It looks like a figure or figures are rushing past. In fact, they almost look like they're glitching out. I'm not sure if this is a ghost or just a person captured rushing past coupled with a camera glitch. What do you think it is? Number 10, Boone Moves. YouTuber Sylvia C is being terrorized by a poltergeist in her home, and the kitchen is its favorite haunt. Here is yet another spooky video from her haunted cuisine. Watch the sink faucet and the spoon on the counter. First, you see the faucet jerk to the right. Damn. Oh my then God. Then you see the spoon drag itself across the countertop. Although the footage is chilling, at least the poltergeist is not throwing things tonight. As we've seen in past clips, I'd say that's a step in the right direction. Number 9. The Statues What is this mysterious object on the side of the road? Ohm vlogs investigates. He continues down the dark road at night and spots another one. Oi. Oi, yaar. Ye dekho fir se. Oi, murti. Aur ye baar baar aage kahan se aa rahi hai? Nahi pata. Then they spot a third figure. Oi, yaar. Ye dekho. Is taraf road band hai. Ye hi woh dummy. Main just Oi, yaar, gaadi. Utar ke jaake dekho kya. Woh hi woh dummy. Main utar ke dekhta hu. You can see this time that it's a statue. Later, they get out of their vehicle. Are ya? Shit! Is it gone? Just yehi pe. Yehi pe thi dummy yar. Main yahan se aaya tha. Yahi dekhi thi maine. And when they come back to it, they find this. Yahan pe. Oi, gate dekho. Gate khula hua hai. Aur kisi ke nishan hai. ये देखो गेट खुला हुआ है गेट खुला हुआ है एंड किसी के निशान है ये उंगलियों के निशान भी
Did one of those creepy statues enter his car? It sure looks like it to me. Maybe it needed an Uber. But if I'm being honest, you couldn't pay me enough to have a possessed half-body statue as a passenger. Number 8. Funny Ghost YouTuber Awaken Choppa, aka rapper NLE Choppa, visited the most haunted town in America and slept in its haunted hotel. This is what happened. As they're talking, something disturbs their laughter. Now what was that? This sets the scene for some real chills. Later, they're heading towards their room in the haunted hotel when they see this. The ghost shows up again, but it can't seem to float or even stand up. <laughs> what the f When he re enters the room, he calls the front desk. My bed is like messed up, and it was this big chunky white sheet, and he just ran into a wall. And um, he, he tripped back behind the couch, and me and my friends, we ran out, but I'm just trying to make sure, like... Finally, he notices the spirit. With the ghost tackled, they can get some shut-eye. While this is clearly a comedy, that laughable ghost is unforgettable. Number 7. Haunted Hinsdale House The Hinsdale House in New York is considered one of the most haunted places in the country and has endured exorcisms to rid of whatever lurks within. But the entity hasn't left. YouTuber Charm City Paranormal investigates. They ask the spirits questions using a music box paranormal device. Okay, if the answer is yes, light it up. Is this closet a portal? If it doesn't want to tell on itself. And again, to confirm. One more time. Is this closet a portal? Holy s***. Wow. No way. Wow. I have chills all over my body right now. That is awesome. Later, as they're using a spirit box, they hear and feel a knock. Having been told that people often break into this house, they go to investigate. No, never investigate. Ever. See, look, it even just felt turn it around. on the floor, and it, like it was on the ceiling in here. I felt that on my feet. Although they turn up nothing, they later hear footsteps. Someone is here, but whether it's human or paranormal, I'm not yet sure. I personally wouldn't want to encounter either. Number 6. Evil Entities Are there evil entities in this home? YouTubers Paranormal Boys think so, and they're here to drive them out. They capture a lot of EVPs during their investigation, including this one. It sounds to me like the voice says here. As they continue to explore, something is captured in the window. 43. 43. 43. No, I'm younger. Yeah. Did you see that? Yeah. It looks like a bald head peeking in, but the camera swings past so fast it could be pareidolia. The next thing they hear cannot be explained. Towards us. I think there is someone walking towards us. I think there is someone walking towards us. Right there. I thought I saw someone move down there. A breath, followed by footsteps. Later, as they're wandering down the hallway, you can hear what sounds like a girl's giggle in the background. <laughs> Yeah, I 
just said, Dad, stop, 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 stop. What? What's up? It doesn't seem like they hear it in the moment. I think the EVPs are pretty clear in this one. And with the mysterious sightings as well, I'm inclined to think there are evil entities in this place. Number 5. The Dark Reflection Ritual Game If you're going to play the Dark Reflection Ritual Game, be prepared. That's what Kaz the Official did, and they still live to regret it. Camera thing about this. I'm breathing into this and I'm gonna burn it for dark, like... That's just for good luck, isn't it? It is for good luck, exactly. That's why I'm doing this, because it is for good luck, but you have to endure the bad luck first. Like, so Final Destination type crap, bro. But if I'm with you, do I get good luck? The first unusual activity they witness is this overhanging light moving. I want to kind of leave him here. So yo, what the f is that? Yo, yo, hold on. Yo, why is the f moving? Yo, I swear to God. It's probably windy. It's probably windy or something. Windy in the house, but there's not a single window open. Why would it be windy in the house? Oh. Did you touch it when you went? Did you, like, oh. did you touch it? After one of the guys starts to feel ill, they head up to the bathroom when something chilling happens. It's kind of ill today or something? No, no, I don't know. I just walked into the bathroom, saw the mirror, saw the lighter, and... Oh. What the f*** is that? Let's stick together, let's stick together, yeah, stick together man. Let's follow us. Let's not have a sword or something that we can use. Like. Later, they're talking around the table when the cameraman spies a mysterious figure outside. Oh my, yo, 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 is the negative energy following them? It appears so. I think the ritual worked. Now, how do you shut this thing off? Number 4. Ouija Stalker YouTuber no. Danny Dorito and his crew are hanging out in a 200-year-old cemetery at night, playing a Ouija board. What could go wrong? Everything, that is. First, they hear movement in the darkness. I swear to God, I just heard something moving. Are you being serious? I swear to God, I freaking heard something over there. It was like footsteps. It was like a slow movement. Right here, I, I tripped on something. Look, looks like there's like a... They see an animal in the darkness and then find clues related to their Ouija board session. A massive animal in the corner over there. I don't know if you guys can see it on camera. It's hard to focus because of the... We're not alone. We're not alone. Hold We're not alone. Up. What? Bro. Isn't that Ali? That's the first... Mary? Yo, yo, yo. As they continue another session, something terrifying happens. Can you please let me know if the ma if the holy sh what the what 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 the oh, f what, 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 what happened? What, 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 what happened? 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 Yeah, somebody's watching us. Someone is watching them, and that someone is not a ghost. I'd bet that Danny and his crew have a stalker, and maybe that stalker has followed closer than they think. Number 3. Window Closes School is still in session. For the spirits, that is. Alan from the YouTube channel Procura Sobre Natural visits this haunted abandoned school at 4 in the morning in this scary video. Despite being abandoned, the K2 is lighting up like no one's business. Shortly after, he hears something around the corner. Notice that this red window is open as he passes by this hallway. Alguém aqui que queira se manifestar pra mim? Caramba, 
A moment later, it slams shut. Let's see that again. It happens right behind him. I'm not sure how Alan could stay in here a second longer after that, but yeah, he does. Though he gone. doesn't figure out what caused it. He's a brave man for trying. Number two, shadow figure. YouTubers the Hillbillies captured a shadow person sighting in this scary barn. As the guys are listening in for something else, there's a whistle in the background. What? I don't know. Like somebody just racked on the steps a couple times, almost like a two fast footsteps. Shortly after, they see a shadow move across the bottom of the stairs. What was that? Yeah. Hello? Dude, somebody's down there. Let's see that again. In another scene, some in the comments are noticing a figure crouching to the right of the guy's truck. See if you can spot it in the brush. Oh, Just seen sick. somebody walk through here. Let's take a look again, more slowly this time. Yep. I think this could very well be an actual person stalking them rather than a shadow figure. What do you think it is? Number 1. Historic Temple While visiting this historic Masonic temple in Cleveland, Ohio, Urbex Hill starts to feel like he's being followed. Upon entering, he's met with this desolate room. It looks like this hell some parties up in that mug. That place is ripe for parties. He arrives at a crossroads. Which way should I go? I'll go upstairs first. As he finds a cartridge on the ground, he feels something touch him. Is that a dollar? Something touched me, I swear to I swear to I feel like something just touched my back. I don't know if it was my book bag flopped on my back or what. Did you notice that cough in the background? Despite this, he continues his tour. While descending the stairs, the door closes on its own. Don't go in there. Door just closed. He enters the room to check it out, but after finding no one, he leaves. Note that he doesn't shut the door behind him. Yeah, damn that. I don't do that. I don't do none of that. That could not have been the wind. However, later when he returns, he finds the door shut again. Do not remember closing his door. He struggles to open it. Now listen closely. Can't even open the door. Hello. 
I don't get it. Did you hear someone answer? A voice whispered, yes. This may be one of the creepiest places I've seen Urbex Hill explore. In my opinion, there's definitely someone in this temple. But whether it is a ghost or a squatter, we won't know for sure. But before making up your mind, Urbex Hill asked me to show this clip while he's walking down the stairs. Let's watch. I think you'd better look away because these are the 30 scary videos. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for 30 scary videos. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to comment, like, and or subscribe. I am gonna go eat some hot chocolate and play some video games to get my mind off of watching this crap because it's it's 11 o'clock at night. Twisms.